Jasmine, I was super confused. I mean, doctor, artist, model, actor, mother, and former Miss Indonesia. I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I think if you say see it in that angle, you will be confused. But actually, it's a very beautiful journey for me. Each each journey has a deep meaning for my life, and each journey has bring a lot of growth. And in myself as a person, and in my career as well. Your struggle to become a Miss Indonesia. So my journey started from Putri Indonesia. In English, we call it Miss Indonesia, two thousand and six. I remember I was the only Punjabi girl in Indonesia who applied for it. It was a big shocking to the entire community, and of course to my parents. I didn't tell them. I no? didn't. I didn't. It was in Femina magazine, and I okay. just take out the the form, okay. and I fill it with my grandmother, and I say like, "Oh my God, this is going to be like amazing!" And uh, I write my names, I write my details of my study, my school, and uh, what I have achieved so far, and I've given what kind of achievements to my schools as well in Santa Maria Surabaya, and uh, it was a very interesting journey actually. And then they call me. And then they say, "Am I talking to Jaswin?" And I say, "Yes, I am. You got selected for East Java." And I was like, "Oh my God! I cannot forget that moment in my life. Seriously, it so was the big." Everyone thing. has their own journey to success. Who was your role model? I mean, you have been doing this for quite some time. So, who was your role model? And whatever you have achieved today, someone in your life that you would like to give credit. I think I would really love to give credit to my grandmother, my nani. She is very strong as a person, and uh, she dedicated her whole life to give it to us, to support us, to make us believe in ourselves. So the credit goes to her definitely. You being a doctor, yes, and now you got into being an artist. Mm -hmm. Why this change? Actually, it's not a change. It's just my idea, and uh, it's my passion as well. I love beauty. I love art, and I see there is a scope of business in there, where I can earn. So why not? You know. So that's exactly what happen if you meet Punjabi or Sindhi family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I see that opportunity, and people love my work. It start from. Uh, if we call it in Indonesia, we call it isang isang. We call it like time pass. You know, just try it. You know, but and people love it. So it's it's like that. So what exactly you want to do in your life? I mean, what what do you want to do? Right I mean, now, that definitely, you want to I want you to become a doctor. I'm a cosmetologist doctor, and I want to pursue that career even seriously now. Yes. Uh, Mumbai or Indonesia? Both. Why not? I have both the license. In the both the countries. So you have license in India as well. Yes, I do. Uh, how easy it was to get the license in India? <laughs> so easy. <laughs> it took me a real struggle for around eight years. Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. The difficult part is because a lot of legality uh, in the form in the all the certificate that I got from my country. Hmm. That is the thing because I'm the first Indonesian who come to India and want to practice in India. If I if I graduate from Russia or China, it would be easier because there's so many university which already registered. So my I came from Indonesia, so I was the first. So it was taking a long journey probably. Which means you will now help all other Indonesian who would like to come to India and practice. It would be the same process for them. And now they might not have to struggle that much. Yes, I will know how to guide them, and also yes, I love both the countries. I feel Indonesia empower me a lot, and India. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to become a doctor in here, because it is a great uh, opportunity for me as well. I have to thank both the countries. How do you balance all your? Profession. I mean, being a doctor, artist, and especially being a mother. I mean, it's a totally different art altogether. Especially when you have two daughters. Yes, yes, it so, is. So, how it do is. you how do you balance, and what is your daily routine? 
So I like, start my day around 6 a.m., start making food for my child and then wake her up and then just like how every mother would start their day with their kids. And then after that, I have my spare time, which I do a lot of positivity. Starting my day, I always hear a lot of motivational speakers, how they become successful and it gives me a lot of affirmations for me to become more better of myself every single day one thing in your life that liberty that you have given to your daughter and uh, probably they would have misused it but you actually don't regret that i mean is there something that you have done that you don't regret i think regret is always come when you feel you take a wrong decision but if you're focusing on the negative part it will always become a very bad decisions in your life but when you see regret as a positive change in your life it will become a biggest challenge and of course it can lead you to become better version of yourself this is what i believe a uh, message to young girls i mean those who are trying to become probably a model or actor or even trying their hands being an artist yes uh, can you just help them to understand their journey I mean, what kind of journey that they should expect yes. and how difficult it is and the struggle that actually a person goes through before they see a success. <laughs> I mean, probably Miss Indonesia, Miss India, Miss World. I mean, well, first of all, you should know uh, what you want to be in life. There will be a lot of challenges for every field, not just for modeling, not just for medical, any other field, even becoming an engineer. There is a lot of challenges in life and every day challenge came. But the most important part I feel for all the models who want to, you know, feeling like giving up or something like that, don't give up. Focus on what you want and grab that and just don't listen to any negativity just do positive and be positive and spread kindness i do believe in that as well because what you give it comes back when i fill the form for miss indonesia i know that i have to prepare myself for it so i started to go to the gym aesthetically i have to look beautiful i also gain a lot of uh, general knowledge by reading a lot of books newspaper out there and uh, of course with my behavior as three b's are the main thing that they judge in the beauty pageant so i did join a course from john robert powers it is a basically a manner school from america okay. yes and uh, we upgrade ourselves for sure and also i join a model agency to trim my walk and the way i sit so basically, you have to focus on what you want to get in life. So, so probably you would have invested 8-10 hours a day? Yes, probably around that much And time. for how long? Before the pageant, it's for one year. One year? One year. And few people think, I mean, it's just an easy task to become Miss India, Miss Indonesia, or probably Miss International as well. And a lot of people think, we are the You have two daughters. And uh, how would you, I mean, what kind of career that you would suggest? I mean, both beautiful daughter, I mean, would you want them to grow on the same lines? Or do you want them to just, I mean, wait and see what kind of uh, passion or probably what kind of career they want to pick up on their own? So, yeah, basically, I love both of them a lot. And as a doctor, as a mother, I have to see what is the best interest for my children. Of course, we want our kids to have what we already built so hardly in the past few years or decades that we make, you know. But there is a beautiful base of life which I feel we have to give to our children back what makes them happy. I think it's very important because when they are happy, they'll achieve everything eventually in their life. So I will support both of my daughter for whatever positive they want to do in their life. And if they want to join our, our empire, why not? If they want to make their own empire, we'll be the back support. Please note, it's an empire. So <laughs> after getting into so many businesses, being an entrepreneur artist, uh, she has made a lot of money and still exploring her life uh, 
like you know, I would say a part two of her life. <laughs> Making a lot of money, it's depend on what is basically, what is a lot of money for you. It could be 1 rupees, it could be 10 rupees, it could be 100 rupees, it depends on you. But humanity and your credibility and your passion, that will bring you very way and long journey in your career. I believe in that. Uh, what about when it comes to... Uh house, real estate, uh, how different it is from Indonesia. I mean, you've been staying in Mumbai for almost a decade now. Yes, yes. So uh, how was your transition period from, I mean, <laughs> how easy it was for you to move oh, from Indonesia? Oh, it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. It is, it is, it is, of course, it is a journey. It, of course, it's a beautiful uh, journey, but also there is a lot of bumps in it where I hit a lot of time I want to quit, a lot of time. I said like maybe India is not my place, you know, I have to go back to Indonesia. But there is something about this beautiful magic land we say in Mumbai, <laughs> they pull you back. <laughs> no matter how far you go, I feel they pull you back with the great ideas. There is some magic in this land. If you are positive and you want to help around you, there is some magic in this land. I believe in that. So yeah, I mean, um, it's a beautiful journey with a lot of bumps, I would say. But uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, your house hunting experience in Mumbai. Oh, come on. I mean, like, especially in Santa Cruz, Bendra area, if you hunt like a house, 3 BHK or 2 BHK with a beautiful terrace and kitchen, it is like a, maybe a dream come true. <laughs> Because it's so difficult to get such space in their, in their area. But when you go to like a town or you go a little bit suburb area like Andheri or you go to like uh, Bandra Kurla complex, mm. BKC, it's much more easier and it's much more you have a lot of options to get for you know hmm. to get that space for you especially when you have two kids you know that's a lot of mess <laughs> so finding a space is difficult on top of it the price point plays an important exactly, role exactly exactly it's very costly as well it's very very costly it's very expensive it's very expensive honest. yes yes still people do migrate from indonesia to mumbai <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is one of it okay uh, what's your next step in your career? I mean, now right since you have now, explored yes. multiple opportunities yes. that have come through your ways, what, yes, what next yes. that you would right like to... Right now, we'll be focusing on my medical, my, okay. med my doctor, my specialization and uh, further studies if I want to pursue more. I think that I will focus on now and my clinic definitely in Mumbai. Okay. What you did with your first income that was generated? I mean, in, in India, in Mumbai, especially when it comes to mail, the first thing that, I mean, that has been taught to them when they start earning, buy your house. I mean, that's, that's how the journey is, yes, especially for yes. guys. So what you did with your first income and were you really interested to invest and uh, get your journey of, uh, like, you know, as an investor towards real estate or probably some other investment that... You would have thought yes. of doing it. So basically, when I start earning, uh, I was just focusing on saving it. Uh, later, when you are already started working and you earn more, and you will start to realize that all the li liabilities what you have around you, it's not so important. But what investment you do, that is going to give you a lot of benefits when you're not working anymore. So it's also a journey. But I will tell all the young youngsters out there that don't focus on the you know just to showing off that you have a great luxury life but focus on what you want to have later on in life i mean like that is much more important because what the world portray out there about the glam and you know the lala boom is not as easy as what it is when you actually uh in the journey of your life yourself you know it's just much more tough so stop living on Instagram, live actual life. However, don't forget to follow Prop Gyani Girish Shalwani on all social media platforms. 
And also don't forget to follow me, Dr. Jaswin Gesha. And thank you so much for your support. See you soon.